hello everyone it's good to see you again good evening from my side how are you doing today my darling i hope you're doing great it's time for our word for today courtesy of ucb and it's 13th of november wednesday 2024 okay my darling let's get right into it our topic today says plan for the best be prepared for the worst wow guys how prepared are you let's find out and our bible reading is taken from the book of proverbs 27 verse 1 and i read from my bible proverbs 27 verse 1 says boast not thyself of tomorrow for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth praise the lord hallelujah let's continue my darling <laughs> unexpected events can knock us off our feet and why some of us get knocked down and out, others get back up and go on. They refuse to accept defeat as being permanent. They are like the man who said, I am never down, I'm either up or I'm getting up. They see everything that happens in life as a learning experience. Losing a loved one is one heartbreaking, but it can also be a wake-up call to live every day of your life to the fullest. Hmm, is that easy? Let's find out. Losing a job can be traumatic, but it can also bring to the surface talent and abilities you never knew you had. Struggling to overcome a bad habit can lead to reprioritizing your life and instituting healthy habits. You can prepare for the worst by saving money for emergency, taking classes about new products and technology, keeping your relationships and contact current so when you need to call someone for help, someone will, be help, someone will be willing to pick up the phone. Doing so is like having a spare tire and tools in your boots for changing a flat. You hope you never need to use them, but you keep them ready to go in the event you hit a bump in the road. Above all, keep your relationship with God in good repair. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him, though he may stumble. He will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hands. Psalms 37 from verse 23 to 24. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Plan for the best and be prepared for the worst. So don't brag about tomorrow because you don't know what the day will bring. In my, you know, mother tongue adage, it says, no, one of which mean. in English language, it means no one knows tomorrow. And I keep saying this, no one knows now, okay? Because we know that unexpected events can knock us off our, you know, feet and we might not even find a way to get ourselves up. Meanwhile, some people, can also find a way to get up very easily because we know we are all different. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can imagine in the event where someone loses a, you know, a family member, you can imagine what the person is going to be going through or what the family is going to be going through. But it's telling us here that it might actually be a wake up call to live every day of your life to the fullest. Hmm. That one is not easy, like I said before, okay? <laughs> you need to gather that mind to be able to do that because when you look at the, you know, the help you used to get, how, how you know, lovely you guys have been together, you get up the phone, you want to call, and you can't even call the person or communicate with the person again, what are you going to do? God help us. So if you are prepared, okay, like we are saying here, nobody knows tomorrow, so don't brag about tomorrow, but if you are prepared and you plan for the best, Okay, so when something hits you, you won't really feel, you will feel it as a human being, but you won't feel it that much because you are actually, you know, looking out for both sides, whether good or bad. So be ready. But there's something I love here. It says, above all, keep your relationship with God in good repair. So that if something goes wrong, you know that actually you've had this lovely relationship with God. Okay, something is so nothing is spoiling there. It's all going on well. It's all going on well, and you know that His grace and His mercy is always there for us and is sufficient. So we have to understand that the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in Him. Though you may stumble, or you will not fall, for the Lord upholds you with His hands. So anyone that puts their trust 
and you know everything in god will, they will not be afraid and they will not fall even if they stumble they will not fall god help us amen with faith is complete so that is it for today i want to thank you so much for listening and don't forget that this is an excerpt from what for today and we're reading the bible for the whole year can you refer back to my previous videos you're going to see the chapters we've read but for today my darling we are reading ezekiel chapter 24 25 26 and james chapter 2 thank you again for listening you know i love you but god loves you most plan for the best be prepared for the worst but always remember that above all these things we have to keep our relationship with god in good repair bye bye